What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here. First game in a while because we are starting the second season of the Scrolls Casual League. Gonna get rid of the um, speed here because I might play a focus on an attacking partisan or scholar with our only two attack. So this second league, um, it works. I'm not completely familiar with the rules. I'll leave the links in the description um, so you can see the standings and the rules and all that. Uh, but it's similar to the last league where... Um, but instead of, you know, first round, second round, I think, I think it's more like people were placed into a bunch of divisions. So the divisions are Gold League, Silver League. There's two, there's three divisions. There's Gold League, Kinfolk Division, and Automaton Division. Um, I am in the, uh, I'm in the Gold League. Although I went 0-6 in the last round of, <laughs> of um, Season 1. And so it's made up of basically, you know, the best players still playing right now. Um, and I'm going to play a best of three against all these players. <laughs> he knows I, now I can't do I even play the partisan I don't think I do no, I'm not gonna <laughs> not sure what kind of decade he's playing so the people in this uh, in this uh, division of the league is Alpha Century WBMC Valentine me Franconi Punisher color plant blinky dialects and cyber mongoose so a uh, tough lineup for sure there and it's same thing, I think you could just choose any decks you want. I'm going with late game order here. I've been having a lot of fun playing late game order. I think I didn't play it enough when Scrolls was still popular. I was always more like an aggressive deck, but I've been having a lot of fun playing more controlish decks. Let's see, is he gonna is he gonna play something? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to play the Should I play the Partisan or the Scholar? I'm gonna I'm gonna play the uh the Partisan. Just in case. Okay. So next turn I can play the Scholar. Next turn after that, Arbolster, then the Imperial. Well, that's not good if, uh, if you're playing a deck to counter my, uh, <laughs> my late game order. Um, next turn. He's not going to have much of a threat on the board anytime soon, I don't think. Which should be good for me. Scholar, see what I draw, then sacrifice something. And Light Bearer, okay. Tempo Theft, I think I should keep. Might as well play the Scholar now. Focus or another Scholar? I'm gonna take the Scholar. And I'm gonna move up because even though these guys, you know, wouldn't mind dying, I can't just like sit back in the whole game, let them build a board, and never get in with and that stuff. I'm not sure what deck he has. This might just be a mono late gameish decay. In which case, I'm not really sure how that would counter my deck, but we'll see. So next turn, I could just play the Arbalist here to get the body on the board. It's kind of weird playing it without the Tempo Theft, but I think that's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to play the Arbalist here. If he Damon Curses it, he Damon Curses it. Do I get rid of the Tempo Theft now? Nah, Spearman is pretty good against... Like, I could kill this guy outright, which is nice, but I'm going to get rid of it. I'd rather have my uh, card drawing cards and let's put him behind. Okay. So, I'll probably just end up destroying this Blavian Seeker next turn. We'll get the cards, but I don't want to let that attack and get free damage on me. And next turn, I go for a Imperial Resources. Pretty much no matter what. He could Damn and Curse. That would kill the Oblivion Seeker at least without a... Uh, Oh, that's okay. That's uh, that's why this was a counter. I always remember, infectious blight poison decks were very good against order. It was it was better when it was the whole um. It was better when it was the. The curse time with baleful witch and cluster hex and that stuff. Unfortunately, pale resources does not heal. The poison away. What can you do? Um. 
What do I sacrifice here? I think I'm going to get rid of the Tempo Theft. Because this guy's going to be only at 2. If he survives this next turn, he's only going to be at 2, um, two countdown anyways. And... I'll just kill this before Witch Doctor's out. Okay. So now I have to try to remember the scrolls that have to do with curse and poison so I can move around that. See, this this could be cool. I hope he doesn't put another poison on this, because then next turn I can kabonk it and get rid of the uh, Infectious Blight. That would be ideal. So please don't, don't put another Blight on it or something. So next turn I can get out more units with the Scholar and Partisan. I'd like to top deck, you know, more ramp up cards too, like Imperial Resources. Alright, so I can kabonk that. So, I should kabonk. I'll just do that first, so I'll draw a card. Maybe Imperial Resources would be a good card to draw. Kabonk. Okay. Now, what do I want to play here? I can do Infiltrate to get rid of this. Could stop that from attacking. Arkham to Prisoners of War. This is going to attack. Um, no, I'm going to hold off on I'm going to just play more units while I can. Let's. But I, no, I want to I get this guy to attack, so let's play the Prisoners of War. Okay, so that's going to die. And then let's go for more order. And I can write just Partisan. Okay, I'll just put it in the middle, I guess. And this is unfortunately poisoned, but I don't think there was much I could do about that. Probably should be positioning some outside of Cluster Hex uh, range. Not really thinking about that, though. Okay, so next turn... I don't know if I'll be able to get this guy to attack again. I have two spells in the hand, but neither are Tempo Theft for Speed. Probably just be a turn to get units down. Curse presence. Okay, so that's a that's a card he's playing to deal with the poison to help the poison along. So this is going to die uh, in the turn after next. Another infested tusk. This poison is going to be a bit of a problem. Hmm. I think I just go for. Another Imperial Resources, right? I could get more things down, but I think I just play the Imperial Resources. Okay. And get rid of this for more order. Let's infiltrate you so I don't have to deal with an attack. Unfortunately, this guy's going to die. I'll block the middle idol and move down because I don't want to get hit by the uh, pack husks for no reason. Okay, it's always a good thing when you have two Imperial Resources out by by round 9. Now I can play some more big dogs, I got a K and an Arbalister in hand. Next turn, okay, there's the Blight. <laughs> Gonna have to find another Kabonk. Okay, that's all he does. And now, I could just not play anything. I think that's a little stupid, though. I can I can survive the one blight. I have to play stuff. Okay, so let's play the scholar. It's gonna get me a card. Let's go with an infiltrate. Can't go wrong with that. Um, I'm just gonna go with the K. A huge, huge unit on the board that he'll just have to deal with. And how do I want to position here? I'll position so the K is not in cluster hex range with the partisan. Would have liked to play the K in a turn where I'm actually destroying an enemy unit or will be destroying soon, but I'm not. <laughs> I think it was still the right play. Because, like, what do I need to infiltrate right now? Nothing's attacking. 
Uh, who knows, maybe things are going to die next turn because I have an Arbalister in hand. So, Kabak, please, top deck. Get rid of my own unit. Necrogeddon. Okay. So, that's going to get rid of the K. It's going to get rid of everything, actually. And he's going to... Oh, he only does one damage on that. He's going to keep the... Uh... Interesting. So, this is poisoned once. Okay, so now this has two poison on it. Um, this. Does that have three poison, actually? Yeah, I think he's going to die next turn. Unless it has two... I'm not really sure what happened. I think it only is going to take two damage next turn, actually. Okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Royal Inspiration. Okay, I can go with the Tempo Theft, tempo theft stuff soon. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I don't think this is going to die yet. Hmm. Let's just... Let's infiltrate, see what we draw. Okay, I want to play units, so... Let's just play... Some Spearmen. And I'm putting them so far apart because of the uh, Cluster X. <laughs> Might be stupid, but who knows. It's tempting to just let nothing go on the board and let the, uh, let the light go away on its own. But I think that's too risky considering he has Necroguns and he could win soon, maybe. I think I should just play the units. Don't mind losing creatures because I'm going to keep drawing cards. Would like to clear his board, though. So next turn, a Arbalister, Tempo Theft, Focus is a likely play. Hopefully he lines his units up in a way I can uh, deal with that. And hopefully this thing survives. <laughs> Maybe another Blight? Okay. Is this, is this thing, thing going to survive? I think it's only going to take two damage. Because it's not cursed. Line him up. Okay. Yep, that survives. Okay, cool. So, Arbal Steer, I don't think I have to do a focus on it. Arbalistir, Tempo Theft, and then I just play another spell. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this Inspiration for Scrolls. It does draw me an Arbalistir, but... Actually, I'll just do this first. So this is going to destroy... Do I take out the Poison with the Arbalistir? I might. I'd rather take out the Humans now, it's a thing. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, or actually, I'm just gonna. I don't want to get poisoned. I'd rather not be poisoned. I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. Yeah, screw it, I'll get poisoned. So, tempo theft. And then I'll just infiltrate this. And I'll get rid of the focus. Okay. Interesting turn. Didn't need to focus because this is going to die uh, from the poison in a couple turns anyways. So it could be a good time for him to do another Necrogun, maybe. Because this is going to die from poison anyways. I don't know, or not. So next turn, I'm going to go with the Partisan. And then figure out what else. So by the way, I might only show like one match uh, of each of these matchups. Because I don't want my videos to be like an hour long. And I probably will show this one just because it's a pretty good match right now. Maybe I'll record all of them and then only upload the top one. We'll see. Because I'm, yeah, if I'm playing late game order a lot, it's, it's going to make for some two hour long videos if we get three matches in. So next turn, let's see what kind of curse he has for, for the Arbalist here. Okay, there's a Harvester. It's going to be a pain to deal with. Languid on that. I kind of wish that this Spearman was moved up. I was probably trying to play around Cluster X too, too much. He might not even have it in the deck. This seems like more like regular Decay, just with like a couple Curse Poison cards, like Curse Presence and infect, in Infectious Blight. It's not like full-on crazy. Okay. So now, what to do, what to do. 
If I, if I pother this, I have a 50% chance of getting it to move down. This is in a row for me to take things down. I could do Royal Inspiration. So Royal Inspiration will draw me an Arbalist Steer. Then I play an Arbalist Steer with a speed. With a Resonance Sword and a speed, that would make him have 7 attack. 7, 3. Nah, I'm not going not gonna to do that. I'm going to wait a turn. Okay, should I just Prisoners of War? I think I'm going to Prisoners of War. Okay, Prisoners of War. And now I'll pother this. Go down. Boo. Go for more resources. Go for the Righteous Partisan. I have a Kabonk, which I don't really need right now. Yeah, he has to kill the Blight anyways, so. And then I'll... Should I pother this? Hope for, hope for it to go down? Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever. I could have gone for the 50% chance on the Harvester, actually, and then played Focus or something. But that Harvester, I don't think is going to be very hard for me to deal with. I have a... I can make an Arbalister attack next turn with the playing Royal Inspiration and then a bunch of cards. Or, you know, I could have gone with a Ragged Wolf Focus. I probably should have done that. We're running out of time, though. I'm not too worried at this point. I'm ramped up so much. Cursed Presence. Is he going to be able to get the Harvester to attack? I don't think he's going to. Baleful Witch. And that's why. So he's going to get the Harvester to attack. Interesting. Takes out an idol. Okay. And now let's go for more order. I gotta take things out. Um, I'm going to play the Imperial Resources, maybe? Kind of wish, should I pother him up? Let's see if I can get a pother up. Go up. Alright, cool. So now I'll take this out. I can go har uh, Arbalist Steer, Speed, and a Resonance Sword. I don't think a bunch of things are going to die this turn, though, so I'm going to wait a turn. I'm just going to play the Imperial Resources. And then I'm going to play the Royal Spearman. Okay. Interesting spot in the game. A little worried. A Necro get in with a Loyal Darkling would make things pretty close. So now I have, I'm going to be able to have 16 resources though, so I can make big plays. I just need the cards. I have an Arbalist Steer Tempo Theft in hand with a Focus and a Resonance Sword, so I can, I can win myself sometime soon. I'm clearing his board. Okay, that's gonna die, I guess. That's poison three times. Okay. So who has it? Infectious Blight. Actually, they both have it. Okay. I'm gonna go for more order. I might, like, miss a lethal at some point, because I have so much, so many cards in hand. So I play the Arbalest Steer. Um, I play the Arbalest Steer. Then I do a speed. It's a tough choice what I want to do here. I'll play that. I'm going to play the Resonance Sword on it. And now I'll go ahead and Tempo Theft. Okay, I just need to deal one more damage with it. I'll play this. Can't kabonk any of these away, right? Because that's poison once, that's poison once. Okay, then I'll just play this and I'll play the Royal Inspiration. Okay. And then I'll play Royal Inspiration. And yeah. I'm gonna I'll just protect like that. Okay. And we I think that was a good turn.
wish I had Dominion for the Royal Inspiration to get more cards, but don't really need the cards. I do need the cards, actually. Languid. I assume he has a way to get rid of this Arvalus here. Okay, he's gonna go. He's gonna get rid of it with an Echo Gun. Alright, yeah. I think I'm pretty safe in this game now. Because if he's doing that to get rid of stuff, I should be fine. So I'll probably just Arbalist or Speed again to get rid of those. Um, infectious Blight is on him. I'm going to get rid of one of the Infectious Blights as well. So let's just play the Arbalist here. We'll go with the Speed. Yeah, let's do the Kabonk. Get rid of one Blight. Now I'll go for Scrolls. Do I even play the Resident Sword? I'm not going to play the Resident Sword yet. And I'll play the uh, Prisoners of War. Okay. I think that's good. I could play the Copperado, but I don't think it's necessary. I'm looking good. Next turn. Okay, now let's get to the bottom of the board. Let's go for more order, because I have a million order. I'm just going to keep <laughs> playing stuff to uh, to clear his board. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to deal with anything. Royal Inspiration. Okay, let's play that. And then I'll... go with a speed... Kabunk. I want this to attack while it can, right? Yeah, I should probably focus. Let's take out an idol. And then I'll just put down the uh, this Royal Spearman. That was a good turn. Now I'm down to four cards with 17 resources. Man, our bolsters are so fun. Much better than mangonels, in my opinion. Should be able to win soon. It's gonna, if he doesn't get rid of these uh, two arbalisters, I probably will have the means to make them attack. Or maybe not, I don't have any speeds in Tempethus. We'll see. Meyer Curse. Meyer Curse Unbind. Okay, I guess that making my creature separate was a good idea. Alright, let's get rid of the Copper Auto. Royal Inspiration time, I will draw two cards because I have Dominion. I can go with an... I can't really do that much. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to do something. Let's play this. I'm going to pother, go up. I could just speed now. I just, I actually I should arbalister speed. Yeah, I'm just gonna arbalister speed, and have two arbalisters on the board. Arbalister, speed. Ah, oh, crap! I'm so stupid. Oops. <laughs> that was not smart. I thought the, um, for a second I thought the speed would make the Arbuster attack with haste. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. Really shouldn't have done that because I could have just played the Arbuster with haste kind of up. And, oh, and I play right into that. Here comes a Baleful Witch. No, okay. I think this dies though. Okay. Play the Predators of War next turn. Do I have lethal? I might have lethal. I need this to get to 16 attack. <laughs> I don't think I have lethal if he covers the other side there. Maybe I do now. Let's see. So. Let's get rid of that. Ah, they made you wolf. Now I don't get to draw it. They don't have any spells. I don't have any spells. Okay, in that case I don't have lethal, right? If I resonant sword, resonant sword. I can, I just, I can only add a 4 attack. 
I don't believe him. Oh well. Resonance Sword, I'm going to do anyways. Prisoners of War. Let me draw two cards, but oh well. Then I'm going to play the Ragged Wolf behind. And then I'll play another Spiky Dude. Okay, that looks good enough. <laughs> I think it, Tempo Order would have had a harder time. Because... It depends on if um, you get a good draw in the beginning, but with late game order, I just don't have that many units that I really care about him killing with poison. Okay, can I finally win? Oh, that guy dies, so maybe I can't. Um, that's a good top deck, Royal Inspiration. So I go with an Arvalus, Deer, Precision of War, Pother, Pother Focus, that's three. I need, to, I need to top deck. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm going to play the Arbalist Steer. I need... I need this to go somewhere else. I mean, I could just paw their prison in a war focus to get rid of that. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the RB. Okay, go down. Or up, that's fine too. Alright, so now I'll do the Prisoners of War. Oh no, the Ragged Wolf is already there. <laughs> That's not good. Um, in that case, I'm just going to put put units down. Oops. Ah, that's... Nope. I forgot this guy had the Mire Curse. I'm making a lot of misplays, but... It doesn't really matter when you're at 17 resources. And... You're doing fine. GG. So that is the first match, but I think it'll be the whole video. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll let you know how the next two matches go, and see you next time.